Hello, in this video I will demonstrate how to customize the SolarWorks PDM tasks. If you haven't been using tasks before, those are built-in functionality of SolarWorks PDM. Tasks can be launched on demand from the menu or they can be executed automatically on a transition change. Execution of the task can be delegated to the remote server. SolarWorks PDM provides several out-of-the-box tasks such as convert and print. In this video I will demonstrate how to customize and debug convert task. This tutorial does not require strong SolarWorks API knowledge and can be useful both for software developers and SolarWorks PDM administrators. Let's start by opening the convert task, output file details and click on advanced scripting options. This window contains visual basic code which is using SolarWorks API to perform the conversion. This code will run for each file processed by task. In order to debug this task, it is required to make the current machine as a host of this task and also intercept the execution of the macro. We can simply place debug.assertfalse method call in order to start debugging. We can put it at the beginning of the main procedure so the debug started as soon as macro run. Now let's come back to our world and run the task from the context menu. You can track the progress of your task in the task list dialog. Uh, after a short time, we can see the SolarWorks is started in the background and our debug point is hit. Let's now quickly explore the code by hitting F8 to debug step by step. So here the macro will open the file. And now it is going to set up some file naming. You may have already noticed that the code in this macro is slightly different from the one we seen in the task options. This is because SolarWorks PDM will replace all the placeholders in the macro with the corresponding values. We can continue to step through the code. One thing I want to point out is that the debugging experience in this window is slightly different from the one you can see in the macros in SolarWorks. So for example, it is not possible to just start the macro and stop at some breakpoint or pause or stop it, as all of the buttons here are disabled. Presumably, at this line of code, the output name of the file is specified. So let's modify it slightly and include some random 4 digits number to the file name. I'm going to use the randomize function of VBA. And now we can see in our preview that the 4 digit number is assigned to the file name. Let's continue. And here is another function which may be quite handy to modify. So this is where all of the output options are set. Now we will come back to this function a bit later. Now let's just continue our macro and finish it. The task was successfully executed and we can go to the vault, click refresh and here we can see our PDF file which contains the new name. Let's come back to our script now and implement this change permanently. So let's remove the debug assert firstly and modify the name assignment function to include the random 4 digits number. Let's double check that the applied changes are correct. I want to specify the PDF subfolder and we can monitor the task progress here. And let's take a look in our folder and here we can see a PDF with a new naming. Now I'm going to modify the task to change the DPI of my output PDF. If you don't have much experience in SolarWorks API, you can simply record the macro of your actions and try to copy the code from the macro into the task. Let's start the macro recording. Go to Save As. Select the folder, PDF, click on Options and change the DPI. OK. And when finished, just stop the macro, save it somewhere. And here you can see the code. Let's just copy those two lines. We now need to paste them into the set conversion option function in the script. Let's run the task and see how it goes. Let's firstly remove the previous files. Tasks, convert files. OK. And let's see the result. The task has failed. 
you can inspect the details of an error as well as look at the logs. But there is no detailed description on this issue. Ok, what we can do is go back to the script and put the debug assert to debug this code. Let's do that. Let's run again. So now I expect my macro to stop so I can debug the code. Let's take a look at the progress. So SolidWorks is starting and my macro didn't hit a breakpoint. Ok, so now let me explain why that happened and how to actually debug that macro. When task is launched, PDM will start SolidWorks, create a temp file, copy the script, replace all of the placeholders, then rename the file to SWB, which is another extension for SolidWorks macros, and attempt to run that macro in SolidWorks. That means if the macro contains any compile errors, it cannot be debugged. You can only debug it if it contains some error in the logic of your functions. I have developed a simple utility which can intercept the process of the macro creation and copy it to the nominated folder. So you will be able to open that macro in SolidWorks even if it contains compile errors and troubleshoot. This tool is free and open source. You can just follow the link in the description of this video for more information. Now let me show it in action. Uh, this is a console application and you need to specify the folder where you want to copy your macro. Let me create a debug folder. Just copy the path to the tool and copy the path to the folder. Click enter. Now it waits for the debug macro to appear. So we can just run a task. And specify the path. And I just want to bring the PDM task manager as well as command line and also the folder onto one screen, so we can see how it works. So you can see the SolidWorks is started on the background and this file is handled and copied to the debug folder. Let's start SolidWorks and open that macro. Go to Tools, Macro Edit, specify the full path to the macro, ignore that message. The first thing which is required to do is to add the references to SolidWorks type libraries. So tools, references and just select those ones. Now let's troubleshoot. I should point out that in this environment you have all of the debugging options enabled. So you can start the macro, stop the macro or pause the macro. So let me just find the call to the set conversion option function and put a breakpoint then click at 5. So when I step into the function I can see the compile error. Basically, I have just uh, incorrectly copied the line, included some extra symbol. I can clean this up. I also need to fix the brackets, so I do not need the brackets in this case. And now it just works. What I need to do is just to replace those two lines in my script. Copy. Remove the debug assert. Navigate to the set conversion option function and replace those lines. Let's run the task again. Specify the folder. Just look at the progress. So now we don't have any errors and our PDF file is generated. Thank you for watching this video.